Now, uh, here's something that I just love the story uh, from Sam Elliott. I'm a Sam Elliott fan. I know he's not necessarily on our side of the political spectrum, but he is partially. So <laughs> I was about to say. You know that Benedict Cumberpatch f- uh, film, you know, it's the uh, Power of the Dog? Yeah. It's uh, a it, yeah. certified fresh, which is a stupid term. Uh, 94% of critics uh, gave it a positive review, you know, on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, but Sam Elliott is actually, he's, he's really not a fan. He was asked about it recently on a podcast, and some of the comments are hysterical. But you had a point that you wanted to yeah, make. Yeah, well, this. I mean, look, I think Hollywood is totally missing the boat here. If you've watched Yellowstone, if you've watched, what is it, 1883 or whatever, that the other one after that, they're yeah, thinking, the all right, let's one. just make as many Westerns as we can make. But when I watch that, when my wife watches that, we look at it and we're like, Oh man, like they're saying stuff that we agree with. Like there's scenes where they're talking about tough love for kids and making them into pets because you're giving them too many things and it's not going to be a good thing. And then there's like just the toughness of being a man and having to go out and be a cowboy and work hard for a living. And Hollywood is like, oh, well, let's just make more Westerns with, you know, none of those elements (laughs) involved in it at all. And instead, what they should be doing is going, huh, there's this giant segment of America that's being missed. And I think you were making the point that Sheridan, the guy who wrote it, mm-hmm. is basically what he has tapped into is that through line through all of his stuff is that there is a segment of America that's been left behind that these movies really do speak to and these shows really do speak to. And yes. it, it makes them feel like, oh, you know what? That's right. There the- are some bad things that we have to get rid of in society for sure. But these things are great. These things are conservative values. And some of the tough love that we well, just don't have anymore. He was also in Tombstone, which is, well, for my money, my favorite Western. It is. Where, ever. Well, but it was, was also considered kind of a dead uh, medium. Well, that's <laughs> true. But Tombstone brought it back. Yes. So. And so did Unforget. Sam oh, Elliott. Sam Elliott was in Tombstone. Yeah, that's right. I thought you meant Sheridan. He's, so. he's but, here. What the heck? Sam? Sam Elliott? So I actually decided to take some time to read kind of a bit. You should have got him the big cowboy hat headphones. The New York Post took my ass out of context. I'd like to read my thoughts on Benedict Cumberpatch. These are the exact quotes, and all references are available at lonerwithgrunner.com in the pinned comment. That's what all these f***ing cowboys in that movie looked like. Chippendales dancers. They're all running around in chaps and no shirts. There's all these allusions to homosexuality throughout the whole f***ing film. Where's the Western in this Western? I mean, Cumberpatch never got out of his f***ing chaps. He had two pairs of chaps, a woolly pair and a leather pair. And every f***ing time he would walk in from somewhere he never once was on a horse he'd walk into the f***ing house storming up the f***ing stairs to go lay in his bed in his chaps and play his banjo it's like what the f***? I just think there's a problem with modern westerns a lot of homosexual undertones and overtones in this movie and I made my living Filmed, you know that Gerald and Dave, right? You did at uh, Tombstone. Like I just right. mentioned you were great yeah. in that. Love well, it. I have to say, for my own, for my own job security, I'm a little concerned. I used to make films with greats like Kurt Russell and Bill Paxton. Now, if I want to work out there in the range, I have to get pegged by Brian Stelter. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's no, that's. Did you give sign a, on to this? No. I don't give a rat's ass what the union says. You're going to have to pay my sorry ass more than f***ing scale. <laughs> I wouldn't even let my dog watch this movie. Matter of fact, I'd rather watch Magic Mike with an unpeeled banana in my mouth. <laughs> Why does the woman leave? This is for people who've watched the actual I haven't. F***ing movie. Yeah. Why did that woman leave? Oh, because you like him better. <laughs> Look, I'm not one to protest a funeral and say that God hates. You can't say that. the F word. No, can't say. Right? No, no, mm-hmm. no, Sam, don't do that. But just because it's no longer unlawful doesn't mean it's not immoral and disgusting. I hate Hollywood and I hate its liberal queerness. <laughs> I also hate that godforsaken podcast that made this a story. You know, we're getting not some sure. comments, maybe. If 15,000 of you 
Hit like in the next five minutes. I'll have to host the rest of this show. Here is Sam Elliott. I really hope it's an unattainable goal. It might be, uh, I don't know, Sam. I think you could do it. I, do. I think Sam Elliott could do anything. He can. He was well, a cowboy. He actually worked. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Well, like well, making a film with Benedict Cumberpatch and right. chapless ass pants getting pegged by whoever won't even get a second look for best supporting actor. <laughs> More like best, tough, best supporting queer. Did you like him in Doctor Strange? Are you a big Doctor Strange fan? I'm not a huge fan of the Marvel Universe. No? Mainly because it's surrounded with queers. Ah, same thing. Mainly, yeah. yeah. Which one do you think is the most gay? Well, I think you'd have to take into account that the Hulk, when he switches from Bruce Banner, a wimpy-ass queer scientist, into the world's <laughs> most powerful superhero... All his clothes rip off except his pants. How convenient. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> remarkably inconsistent. I also think that we never see him from behind because those are assless purple pants. <laughs> are you sure about that? Have I think you see I'm not from sure. I'm, make, I'm not sure I'm making an inference, by God. Have you seen any of these movies? Well, the problem now is I'm about 85 with my cataracts. Uh, I can't see much. I think you're 77. But that doesn't mean I can't tell right from wrong, <laughs> damn it. Do you still like Marlboros? I'm actually a Chesterfield man. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's you know, they don't make them anymore, which makes them hard to save. <laughs> makes them hard to come by. What was that? I was just wondering if you saved the cartons. Why would I save the cartons? This is this is the guy you have. This is what I'm talking about. Don't they put don't. him in some new western along Kevin Costner. No, I'd be very gay. But, but he does his new <laughs> new show out there. Supposed to be on the range. Like we don't know that he's faking his voice. Well, we all saw you in the Postman. I got a question. I, I mean, what do you think about? Uh, I'm not this, Kevin Costner. Great, great movie. Great movie. Um, Brokeback Mountain. What was your, what were your thoughts? Son of a. Bitch. Did you see, see what you did there? <laughs> And that's the problem with our society. <laughs> I mean, could you quit him? Is not everything is required to be an undertone, or in your case, overtone of homosexuality. I think that one's blatant. I don't can't, even know if it's a tone. <laughs> yeah, can no we tone. just go back to the days where I remember we had one Miss Anne Margaret, Raquel Welch. Mm -hmm. They've been replaced with Guys. It's one direction, <laughs> one direction, and new kids on the block. Your references seem a little dated. Well, I don't care how many times Backstreet's back, huh? I won't be there for it, <laughs> and I certainly won't put them in a western. All right, look, I'm going to take one moment, even though I'm not happy to have to do it, but I'm contractually obligated. Okay, to push this queer shit. Mm. Apparently, Stephen Crowder and Dave Landau are on tour. Mm. Because that's still allowed in this country. Dave's going to be at the Funny Bone in Hartford, Connecticut, <laughs> March 18th through 19th. Then in Tulsa, Oklahoma on May 14th. In Colorado Springs, June 18th. We're going to have both Crowder and Dave. Where you can bet that you'll probably have a few at least sub-closeted homosexuals in the audience. Oh, here we go. So long as you're comfortable with it. I don't know if you're comfortable with yourself, Sam. Are you Are you good with you, who you are? Much neither here nor there. I, I think it's... I here. don't have to be comfortable with myself to not be comfortable with a couple of queers on the range who have never ridden a horse in their life. They wouldn't know what to do with a saddle if it was pegged up their own asses. Whoa. I don't think it can fit. I think they'd know not to do that. Yeah, that's... Well, I don't know if they know their sum from their picker wood. Hmm. You don't get tired of riding fences, Sam? Riding horses? Is that a reference? No, no. Right. Was that you trying to be clever? You, I'm just saying. Were you doing lines stuff. from the song Desperado? This man is doing songs from the... <laughs> is that what you just did? He's doing really, lines. But almost. <laughs> that was just uncomfortable. You know, just because it's not against the law doesn't mean that your attempt at comedy... <laughs> doesn't get lonely out there? ...is not offensive to the sensibilities. No? Mm. Or I need someone to take the camera so that... What did you do? I can get out of this. <laughs> in, in, Where's the host? <laughs> yeah. 
Isn't being a cowboy kind of like prison, Dave, where you're just surrounded by other guys and you're like, well, this is now life, I guess. Oh, yeah, I don't and, think it's an excuse. I'm just saying. For God's sakes, thanks for. Uh, oh yeah, thanks for letting me have to. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> S- Sam yeah, has to leave. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.